Hey everybody, this is that one kid here today with yet another uh, kind of like a review kind of thing. But um, in the last previous video, I did a review on this truck and my guy's still in it. Um, this van, U-Haul van, Brick Boys, um, kind of made the base for me, I guess. And, um, you know, I added on to his truck, and it turned out really good. I like the way it turned out. This time, it's my custom-made stuff on Jastifer's truck, and I personally like his videos. Um, he's personally one of my favorite, uh, Lego YouTubers, because his videos are really descriptive, he does it nice and easy and slow, and when he has big tutorials, he does it in parts. He doesn't do it in all one big clump, he does it in parts. And that, it makes it a whole lot easier to understand. So, um, let's get into it. Now, uh, what I added is... First off, the snow plow. Yes, the beast. Um, this is this plow is 100% custom. Um, you know, you can lift up, goes down, that way, that way. You know, looks good. It also comes off right there at that joint. So let me pop that off real fast. Alright. Sorry. My background's falling off. I have, I've got cats and they're just all over that place just knocking everything down. Alright. So there it is. Popped off. You now I've got your little uh, joint there. And the lights look good on it. I wish they were kind of in this area, but I've got something else that goes there. Um. It's something that attaches to the grill, and you know, you have the chains that actually winch it up, but, um, I, st I still, I'm still trying to fit that into the bumper here, because it's not that big, it didn't leave much space for me to work with, but it's, overall, it is a amazing truck. So there's that, that pops off, um, that's the part that goes under the frame, it snaps right on there, and then you can see where the, uh, two claws go and where they clip onto this bar so let's put that back on the truck right there you can see though there's no support for the center axles there and it snaps in right there perfectly and you can take off the plow like that I would because that kind of gives the truck some kind of gives it like a bull bar looking thing and I think it looks cool it's almost scraping the ground though but it's okay yeah, so there's the plow part. So let's snap that back on. Uh, okay. Ah, there we go. Spinny. Let's prop that sucker up. Hold on. Right. Next thing I did was windshield wipers. That he did not include. Um... So what I did was, um, he has the three one by two grill plates, like we got right there. Oh gosh, my camera's being stupid. Um, so said I only used two. Took one. I placed a black kind of like a hinge or lever there. One by two grill plate. Another lever or hinge. Then the final one by two grill plate. You know, I've got windshield wipers. Next thing are the traffic mirrors. Because if you didn't see the bumper up front, if you didn't see the bumper up front here, um, you can see that I put the Ford emblem, like it's an F three fifty. So, and it's like the night, like the two thousand three. So, you know, it has the lights on the mirrors and, you know, big towing mirrors. I think it looks cool. And, um, real fast, I also did to the bumper was, it's not that plain, 1x4 flat piece. Put, um, two fog lights and then my license plate there in the middle and a 1x2, actually. And then I changed the gray, 
um, one by two grill plates to silver metallic and put my Ford sticker like you saw on my U-Haul. Next thing would be inside, well actually, you know what, before I do that, the outside in general. Um, any colors that he built blue on it, I put white. And then any colors that he put white on his version, I put black. So anyways, let's see the roof. Um, you can see here that I put two uh, brake lights as slants in the middle. And then you've got like either like lights that you can like turn on if you're like working at a construction site or something at night and you're packing up. Or you know, just reverse lights. Then you've got this bar. Just I, I didn't want to put sirens on it because it's not really a work truck. It's kind of like somebody that a normal person would own. So I just kind of put a bar on top. Kind of looks cool. Pop that off. Inside, what do we have here? We've got black seat, red steering wheel. We've got a shifter that he did not put in. And we've got a little dash in there. If you can see the little gauge hanging there. Um, that, you know, I just kind of clipped in under the windshield. And it looks good. Oh, whoops. The wheel fell off when I was doing that. I, I, I do apologize. I do apologize. Sorry. Right. So now let's put our roof back on. Alright, bed of the truck. Nothing much to see. Still his. You know, got plain fifth wheel hitch. You know, same thing. Nothing much. Now, the bottom. I did put a one plate lift kit on it so I could accommodate the snow plow and the camper that he made. That's why the fifth wheel hitch is back there. Um, you know, because, uh, if I didn't give, uh, because the plow needed the lift kit. And, um, I also had to give the camper, uh, one plate lift kit because then it wouldn't be able to fit on here. Um, it would be able to fit just the uh, front, the two front, uh, the front axle, I guess, with the two front tires. The, it wouldn't be touching the ground, so it wouldn't look right. Alright, so now let's go to the rear end of it. Which right now, it's kind of in winter mode, because it is winter. And, um, you know, we've got our salt spreader. I actually just made this today. And, overall, I think it looks great. You know, you've got your distributor it spins you know it can go up and down it adjusts it's the best part you know um and it pops right off real easy sometimes sometimes it's easy there it goes you know just kind of set that aside and you know what the the two angle brakes that you have to put on back there uh kind of gives rear bumpers bulk um what I did different is the tail lights. As you can see, that's not his original bumper. Um, you know, I got the white license plate, the hooks for the salt spreader right there. And then we've got um, just a plain ballpoint or ball uh, trailer hitch, you know. Just something kind of cool to have back there, you know. Pull, you know, just plain trailers like a horse trailer or a um, maybe like a dirt bike trailer, you know, food trailer, something like that, you know. And it it looks good. It, it does look good. Um, let's put our salt spreader back on here. Alright, so now we got that back on, and it looks, it looks nice. Overall, that truck that he made, it looks nice. You know, I added my customizations to it. I was very impressed with the plow, how it turned out. Very, very, very nice. But, I mean, I just threw that salt spreader together in like five minutes, and it, it, I think it's my best still. I might put some uh, custom sticker on the back, and, uh on the front like a boss snow plow sticker and then like a snow dog sticker for the salt spreader because you know that's that's a company that makes these things you know um yeah all right um remember if you enjoyed this video please um drop a like and um comment what you think needs to be better or you know what you liked about it and 
and never ever ever forget to subscribe um if i can get 50 subscribers and uh, about 50 likes on this video i will do a tutorial on the whole truck itself and the plow and salt spreader behind it um i'll probably do that with my u-haul van i forgot to mention yeah, 50 subscribers by the end of the week, and 50 likes on the video. Um, yeah, for right now, all my videos, if you do uh, 50 likes, I will show a tutorial on it. Um, but I'm gonna try and get 50 subscribers by the end of the week, and if you guys could do that, that'd be amazing. That'd be, just, that'd be awesome. And you'll get your tutorial. Alright. This is That One Kid signing off. Thank you.